Mission after a house fire turned into a murder investigation. The main suspect has been denied bond. Our Floriana Boardman has been following this story all day today. And Floriana, what have you learned? Katie, the main suspect, Ryan Manigo, is facing charges for killing his sister-in-law and 11-year-old daughter. I spoke with two grandchildren and a son of one of the victims today. They tell me they're still wrapping their mind around the tragedy that took place. I just want Ryan to know that he'll never be forgiven. Dozens of family members at court today expressing their anger towards 33-year-old suspect Ryan Manigo. What you did, you hurt us. You took away our matriarch of our family. Someone who took you in, fed you just as her own. Manigo was denied bond after being charged with two counts of murder and one count of attempted murder. Still, after yesterday's incident, four others were found dead. Family says one was over 100 years old. I still can't believe he did it. And then to us, to our grandmother, like, it's just why. Oh, my mom, she was about 101 year old. She did something good to get that age. Another victim was Manigo's sister-in-law, Michelle Wright. Oh, Michelle, Michelle was the heartbeat and the backbone of this family. She took care of our grandmother. And Manigo's 11-year-old daughter, Sharia Manigo. And then you had the kids, you know, the, the babies that were in the house. I'm at a loss for words. Family I spoke with today say they never saw this coming. You know, everybody has a side to them. Um, and as far as the family is concerned, we always saw the good side. Like, he was sweet, he was kind. Manigo was part of their family. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand why and how and what happened. I don't understand mentally what happened to Ryan. And Ryan, I just don't understand why, because why did it have to go to this? Now, law enforcement tells me more charges are coming pending the autopsies. They also say the two identified victims were found with stab wounds. Reporting live in Colleton County, I'm Floriana Boardman. Still to come, being mindful of the environment this 4th of July.